In Tower Defense Simulator, you are able to upgrade towers to improve their stats, abilities, and more. Some levels are more efficient than others, having better value, giving you more DPS for the price you spend. In this video, I'm going to be showing the best level of every single tower in the game. I'm going to consider other factors than just DPS, such as hidden detection, range, abilities, and more. Before I continue, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Hair Mafia. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Also, if you want to talk to me, suggest videos, or maybe even be in one, consider joining the Blue Head Mafia Discord. It's a great time, and I hope to see you there. I'm going to be going in the same order as the wiki, so that makes our first tower the Scout and Golden Scout. For the normal Scout, the best value is level 3, which has a DPS of 4.95 for a total of 1,350 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.67 DPS per 1k spent. It also has Hidden Detection, which is unlocked at level 2. For the Golden Scout, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 1.66 for a total of 200 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 8.3 DPS per 1k spent. However, if you want Hidden Detection, then the best level is level 4, which has hidden detection and a DPS of 36.76 for a total of 6,325 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 5.81 DPS per 1k spent. For the sniper, the best value is level 1, which has a DPS of 1.66 for a total of 450 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.33 DPS per 1k spent. Although, if you want hidden detection, the level 2 is the best, which has a DPS of 2.99 for a total of 950 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.15 DPS per 1k spent. For the paintballer, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 1 for a total of 400 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 2.5 DPS per 1k spent. For the demo man, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 1.45 for a total of 400 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.63 DPS per 1k spent. However, I'd recommend spamming level 3 demo mans as they have nearly the same value being 3.32 dps per 1k spent but has a much higher dps being 7.96 instead of 1.45 the demo man only gets hidden detection at level 5 which has a dps of 23.18 for a total of 8400 cash giving it a DPS cost ratio of 2.76 DPS per 1k spent. For the normal soldier, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 1.79 for a total of 350 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 5.11 DPS per 1k spent. If you want hidden detection, then level 2 is the best, which has a DPS of 3.58 for a total of 950 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.77 DPS per 1k spent. For the golden soldier, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 3.29 for a total of 475 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio a 6.93 dps per 1k spent if you want hidden detection the level 2 is the best which is a dps of 7.54 for a total of 1350 cash giving it a dps cost ratio of 5.59 dps per 1k spent the best level for the freezer is not dependent on dps rather the amount of time the enemy is frozen for because of that the best value is level 1 which freezes enemies for 1.25 seconds for 700 cash in comparison the max level freezer freezes enemies for 1.45 seconds for 11,000 cash which is only slightly longer for more than 11 times the price. For the Hunter, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 1.59 for a total of 500 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.18 DPS per 1k spent. If you want hidden section, the level 3 is the best, which has a DPS of 9.95 for a total of 3,400 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 2.93. While level 2 does have slightly better value, being 2.95 DPS per 1k spent, the level 3 Hunter has 2 more range, which I think makes up for the slight decrease in value. For the Ace Pilot, the best value is level 3, which has a DPS of 41.54 for a total of 2,600 cash giving it a DPS cost ratio of 15.98 DPS per 1k spent. This level is especially good as it is the first level to get hidden detection. For the Medic, the best value depends on what you want. If you're looking for healing, then level 0 is the best, which heals 5 HP every round for 500 cash. But you usually want the Medic for its ability, which it unlocks at max level. This ability can heal stun towers and can make a huge difference when fighting bosses. For the Pyromancer, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 4.88 for a total of 900 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 5.42 DPS per 1k spent. However, if you want to use the Pyromancer for defense melting, then a max level Pyro is the best, which melts 10% defense every tick for a total of 16,250 cash. For hidden detection, level 2 is the best, which deals 9 DPS for a total of 2,250 cash. For the Golden Pyromancer, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 4.88 for a total of 800 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 6.1 DPS per 1k spent. It also gets hidden detection from level 0. Again, if you want defense melting, then it's best to go for max level, which melts 10% defense every 
tick for a total of 19,400 cash. For the farm, the best values are level 2 and 3, which both generate 250 cash per 1k spent every round. Because of this, it's best to aim for getting these levels of farms as quickly as possible. If you want to make as much money as possible, then the max level farm is of course your best choice. For the militant, the best value is level 0, which deals 3.88 DPS for a total of 800 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 4.85 DPS per 1k spent. The hidden section, level 1 is the best, which deals 3.88 DPS for a total of 1,050 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.7 DPS per 1k spent. For the shotgunner, the best value is level 0, which deals 4.78 DPS for a total of 400 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 11.95 DPS per 1k spent. For hidden detection, level 2 is the best, which deals 13.27 DPS for a total of 1,850 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 7.17 DPS per 1k spent. For the military base, if we combine collision damage and unit damage, the best value is level 3, with a combined DPS of 15.92 for a total of 2,200 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 7.24. But keep in mind, this value is going to be a lot lower on average as a gunner usually won't be attacking 100% of the time. For the Rocketeer, the best value is level 2, which deals 12.48 DPS for a total of 3,600 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.47 DPS per 1k spent. For hidden detection, level 3 is the best, which deals 25.66 DPS for a total of 10,100 cash. For the Crook Boss, the best value is level 3, which deals 18.99 DPS for a total of 3,500 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 5.43 DPS per 1k spent. Despite level 1 having a slightly higher DPS cost ratio, the level 3 Crook Boss has much stronger units, dealing 3.94 DPS instead of 1.98. It can also spawn up to 2 of them instead of just 1. This level is also the best for hidden detection. For the Electro Shocker, the best value is level 5, which deals, when considering its 8 enemy chaining, 287.12 DPS for a total of 23,525 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 12.20 DPS per 1k spent. This is also the best level in terms of stunning and defense melting, stunning enemies for 0.5 seconds and reducing their defense by 1% with each hit. For the Commander, the best value is the level 2 Commander, as the ability allows you to get a 45% fire rate buff for only 3,300 cash. If you get 3 Commanders, you can have 100% uptime on this ability. However, I'd recommend getting at least one max commander as you'll want that 25% passive fire rate boost. It does however cost 17,800 cash, so it's a lot more expensive. For the DJ, I'd recommend going for level 3 DJ first as this is the first level with a discount. This makes a big difference and is a lot more important than just a range boost. However, once you have the proper money and farms, go for max DJ as soon as possible. That 20% discount and 35% range boost is no joke and will be super helpful for you and your teammates. For the Warden, the best value is level 1, which has a DPS a 10.28 for a total of 750 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 13.71 DPS per 1k spent. The Warden also gains hidden detection at this level. However, I'd recommend going for level 3 Wardens instead, despite it having a worse value of 8.25 DPS per 1k spent. This is because at this level, the Warden now stuns enemies with every hit, which makes up for the loss in value. For the Minigunner, the best value is level 3, which has a DPS of 34.48 for a total of 8,650 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.99 9 DPS per 1k spent. This level also has hidden detection. For the Golden Minigunner, the best value is also level 3, which has a DPS of 68.97 for a total of 13,250 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 5.21 DPS per 1k spent. This level also has hidden detection. For the Ranger, the best value is level 3, which has a DPS of 36.6 for a total of 9,350 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.91 DPS per 1k spent. For the Normal Cowboy, the best value in terms of DPS is level 2, which has a DPS of 3.67 for a total of 1,100 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.34 DPS per 1k spent. For hidden detection, level 3 is the best, which has a DPS of 7.81 for a total of 2,750 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 2.84 DPS per 1k spent. If you want to generate income, the best value is level 0, which generates 25 cash every 6 shots and deals 2 damage per hit. If a level 0 cowboy was to kill a giant boss, it would produce 4,166.67 extra cash. In comparison, a max level cowboy would only produce 1,333.33 extra cash. For the golden cowboy, the best value in terms of DPS is level 3, which has a DPS of 13.8 for a total of 3,700 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.73 DPS per 1k spent. This is also the first level with hidden text. If you want to generate income, the best value is level 0, which generates 25 cash every 6 shots and deals 2 damage per hit. If a level 0 golden cowboy was to kill a giant boss, it would produce 4,166.67 extra cash. In comparison, a max level golden cowboy would only produce 1,333.33 extra cash. 
Funny enough, this is the exact same as a normal cowboy. With a turret, the best value is level 2, with a DPS of 28.25 for a total of 6,500 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 4.35 DPS per 1k spent. This level also has hidden detection and lead detection. With a mortar, the best value is level 4, with a DPS of 61.29, including the damage from the cluster bombs, for a total of 14,600 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 4.2 DPS per 1k spent. For the pursuit, the best value is level 1, with a DPS of 31. 1.01 for a total of 3,900 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 7.95 DPS per 1k spent. However, level 2 is overall better as this level now shoots out missiles, allowing it to handle crowds of enemies. This level has nearly the same value, being 7.13 DPS per 1k spent, though its value is likely higher if you consider that the missiles can hit multiple enemies at once. For the Accelerator, the best value is level 3, which has a DPS of 61.27 for a total of 9,700 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 6.32 DPS per 1k spent. For the Engineer, the best value is level 6, which deals, when combined with its turrets, 3.59.44 DPS or a total of 52,400 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 6.86 DPS per 1k spent. Not to mention, this level also deals splash damage, meaning it's a great option against crowds. The base engineer also has hidden and flying detection, which it unlocks at level 2. For the Gladiator, the best value is level 5, which has a DPS of 78.74 for a total of 11,050 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 7.13 DPS per 1k spent. This level also has the Warrior's Call ability, which decreases its swing rate by 35%, which it unlocks at level 3. For the Commando, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 3.94 for a total of 1,600 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 2.46. However, the level 5 is overall better, despite having a DPS cost ratio of 2.29 DPS per 1k spent. This is because this level fires 4 rockets every 6 seconds, which deal 11 damage each. The splash damage of these rockets are helpful against crowds of enemies and overall make up for the 7% decrease in value. For the slasher, the best value is level 1, with a DPS of 4.95 for a total of 650 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 7.62 DPS per 1k spent. However, level 4 is overall better, despite having a DPS cost ratio of 4.82 DPS per 1k spent. This is because this level throws 3 knives every 4 seconds, which can hit multiple enemies at a time. These knives give it added 15 DPS, improving the Max Slasher's DPS from 27.93 to 42.93. That gives it a DPS cost ratio of 7.32 DPS per 1k spent, and while this is still lower than level 1, the knives will on average hit multiple enemies, making it better against crowds and improving its value. For the Frost Blaster, the best value is level 3, with a DPS of 9.95 for a total of 2,900 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 3.43 DPS per 1k spent. This level also has hidden detection and lowers the defenses by 5%. However, if you're looking for support, then level 4 is better, despite having a DPS cost ratio of 2.02 DPS per 1k spent. This level stuns enemies for 0.7 seconds, which is twice as long as level 3, making it much better at stalling. For the Archer, the best value is level 4, which has a DPS of 17.26 DPS for a total of 5,900 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 2.93. This level also has hidden detection, which is unlocked at level 2. However, I'd recommend getting at least one level 5 Archer, as its burn damage is 10 instead of 4, even though it has a lower value of 2.23 DPS per 1k spent. Because the burn effect cannot stack, you only need a couple of level 5 Archers. After that, it's better to spam level 4 archers. For the Swarmer, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 1 for a total of 300 cash, giving it a DPS to cost ratio of 3.33 DPS per 1k spent. However, I'd recommend going for level 5 Swarmers as they have the Beehive ability, which can be incredibly powerful when spammed. This makes up for its lower value of 2.44 DPS per 1k spent. For the Toxic Gunner, the best value is level 1, which has a DPS of 2.79 for a total of 550 cash, giving it a DPS to cost ratio of 5.07 DPS. DPS per 1k spent. However, level 3 is much better, as despite the base tower having a value of 4.56 DPS per 1k spent, it deals poison damage and slows down enemies, greatly increasing its value. If you set the Toxic Gunner to random targeting, the poison damage is essentially plus 1 damage per shot, increasing its DPS from 11.62 to 17.43, giving it a value of 6.84 DPS per 1k spent. This level also slows down enemies, but the slowdown is bugged, maxing out at about 5%. For the Sledger, the best value is level 0, which has a DPS of 1.99 for 350 cash. However, level 5 is the best value as it freezes enemies for 2 seconds and can hit 4 enemies per swing. If you assume it's hitting 4 enemies per hit and account for the fact that it deals 2 times damage to frozen enemies, a level 5 Sledger has a DPS of 238.47 or a total of 13,600 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 17.53 DPS per 1k spent. 
For the Executioner, the best value is level 2, which has a DPS of 3.98 for a total of 1,800 cash, giving it a DPS to cost ratio of 2.21 DPS per 1k spent. Although, against a crowd of enemies, level 5 is much better as it can hit up to 7 enemies. This gives it a potential DPS of 278.88 DPS for a total of 22,800 cash, giving it a DPS cost ratio of 12.23 DPS per 1k spent. It also has hidden detection, which it unlocks at level 4. For the elf camp, it's kind of a nightmare to calculate what the best value is. This is due to how much the DPS fluctuates, as the amount of elves is incredibly inconsistent and it is very situational. However, in general, level 3 tends to be very high value as the gift bomber is a huge help in clearing crowds and the normal elf or snowball elves can take care of higher health enemies. Level 5 is likely the best value due to the gunner elves, ripped elf, and sled. The Gunner Elves can stack up and give huge amounts of DPS. In a previous video of mine, I calculated that the level 5 Elf Camp would on average have a DPS of 189 for a total of 15,275 cash. That gives it a DPS cost ratio of 12.37 DPS for 1k spent. This is the one tower I'm not 100% certain on, so let me know in the comments if this really is the best value. But with that said, that's the best level of every single tower in the game. Hopefully this video will come in handy for when you're attempting difficult game modes or if you just want to beat the game quicker. There's a lot of calculations in this video so if i got anything wrong feel free to let me know in the comments down below before i end the video i'd like to thank john joe 6 4 magyar dude the figure nimbus the wicker alberto valentine duolingo is coming rookie related kidney solox ts seal redman 48 ida smelly gamer chair potted sprout luis alberto elixir us virgil aa andrew plate adam grow dad stay hydrated sniper mask storm mr autistic man Mr. Giggles, Blue Recon God, Sir Lag, and Monkey Does TDS for supporting my content by becoming a channel member. If you'd like to help me out and get some special perks in the meantime, like being my friend on Roblox, consider becoming a channel member today. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. My name is Corso and I'll see y'all in the next video.